Japanese Environment Minister Goshi Hosono says he wants to speed up the process to remove radioactive materials from around Fukushima Daiichi. The accident at the nuclear plant forced tens of thousands of people to leave their homes. Keep working on it, Japan. Hosono spoke Saturday at a ceremony to mark the opening of his ministry's new office in Fukushima City. The outpost will serve as the government's hub in the region for the radioactive decontamination work. Decontamination is the hope of Fukushima. Keep working on it, Japan. The office is responsible for the work. The government will consolidate all its efforts in this process here. Hosono says the government plans to set up five branches for the office in Fukushima Prefecture. Right now, 69 staff are employed. Their ranks will increase to 200 in April. Hosono says a timetable for decontaminating the government-designated evacuation zone around Fukushima Daiichi will be drawn up by the end of March. A lot of stupid fucking people like to spend their time bitching and moaning about the problems of the world and often fail to see the root cause of the problem. We fail to see the elephant that's in the room. More buildings have been found containing crushed stone contaminated with radioactive substances. High levels of radioactivity were detected earlier this month in a new apartment building in Nihonmatsu City, Fukushima Prefecture. The stone comes from a quarry in Namiya Town, which was designated as an evacuation zone following the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident. Government officials say stone from the quarry has been sold to more than 200 construction companies and was used at about a thousand sites. Stupid! You're so stupid! Much of the stone is believed to have been used to repair roads and reinforce riverbanks. Humans are fucking stupid. However, some were found to have been used to construct or repair at least 49 homes and apartment units in the prefecture. If there ever was just one word to describe humanity, that one word would be stupid. At one house in Nihonmatsu City, radioactivity of up to 0.8 microsieverts per hour was detected inside, which is almost the same as outside the building. Human stupidity has been a great source of entertainment for us humans for as long as humanity has existed. The central and prefectural governments say no harmful health effects have yet been reported. However, they promised to investigate when the stone was shipped from the quarry and measure radioactivity levels in the newly built and renovated buildings. Nuclear experts from the United Nations will review the safety test results of Japan's idled nuclear reactors to see if they meet international standards. Ten officials of the International Atomic Energy Agency left Vienna on Saturday. The experts are scheduled to carry out a nine-day assessment from Monday. The Japanese government ordered the computer-simulated stress tests to be carried out before the idle reactors could be restarted. The IAEA delegation will visit the Oi nuclear power plant in Fukui Prefecture, central Japan. They will verify the government's recent approval of the safety test results for two reactors there. The IEA will look at their methodology and, and look at how they're doing that and provide them any recommendations or advice that we have based on our safety standards. IAEA Chief Delegate James Lyons added that the final decision of whether or not to restart the reactors is solely up to the Japanese government. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says it will prepare a final report after assessing the IAEA probe. <laughs> oh, I think I can compose myself after that. <laughs> U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton says her country is ready to resume talks with Iran if the Middle Eastern country does not ask for any preconditions. The U.S. government enacted a law at the end of last year to halt Iranian oil trade in an attempt to stop Iran from continuing its nuclear development program. 
Iran has been threatening to close the Strait of Hormuz, the Persian Gulf Passage crucial for oil delivery as part of its hardline stance against the U.S. and European countries. But on Wednesday, Iran said it would resume talks with six countries, including the U.S. and European countries, to break a stalemate that has lasted for a year. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton expressed cautious optimism in Washington on Friday. We have to see a seriousness and sincerity of uh, purpose uh, coming from them. She said the U.S. does not seek conflict and that Iran can be reintegrated into the global community when its government turns away from pursuing nuclear weapons. The European Union is expected to decide on an oil embargo against Iran next week. A sexy girl? I can do that. Give a chance to get a real model. Oh, I love my work. <laughs> Speaking of sexy girls, are you going to Pete's bachelor party? I'm not really big on those things. Tell me about it. It's so embarrassing. If a girl's gonna shake it in my face, I want to be alone so I can do something. Should we drink before the meeting or after? Or both? So, that's it, huh? Relax. Don't be short with me. You're the writer. I thought it was worth a try. Great, got a minute here to see you? Send her in. Oh, great. Now we get to hear from our man in research. Mr. Draper, Mr. Romano. You both seem more relaxed than I expected. Do you have some kind of surprise for the tobacco people? I'm doing my own research. If you're planning to continue with medical testimony, you'll only be inviting further government interference. We must police ourselves. There's your slogan. The medical thing is dead. We understand that. Yes, dead. An apt choice of words. Considering the public is convinced that cigarettes are poisonous. If we can't insist that they're not, I believe my most recent surveys have provided a solution. We can still suggest that cigarettes are part of American life. Or too good to give up. Or most appealing, an assertion of independence. So basically, if you love danger, you'll love smoking. We could put a skull and crossbones on a label. I love it. Before the war, when I studied with Adler in Vienna, we postulated that what Freud called the death wish is as powerful a drive as those for sexual reproduction and physical sustenance. Freud, you say? What agency is he, is he with? So, we're supposed to believe that people are living one way and secretly thinking the exact opposite? That's ridiculous. Let me tell you something, Miss Gus Gutman. Doctor. Doctor Gutman. Psychology might be great at cocktail parties. But it so happens that people were buying cigarettes before Freud was born. The issue here isn't why should people smoke, it's why should people smoke Lucky Strike. Suggesting that our customers have a, uh, a what did you call it, a death wish? I just don't see that on a billboard. So what if Reader's Digest says they're dangerous? They also said Bambi was the book of the century. There's no proof. There's conclusive proof that none of these low-tar, low-nicotino filtration systems have any effect on the incidences of lung cancer. Just give me the damn report. I think you'll find it very convincing. Oh, I'm sure I will. You're the one who found all of our medical testimonials in the first place. It's true, Mr. Draper, but I... Has anyone else seen this? Of course not. It's your account. Good. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I'm sorry, I just find your whole approach perverse. Good luck at the meeting. I'm sure it will be a quick one. Sal, I'll take that drink now. 